There is amazing food everywhere in Paris, but especially right here in Le Marais with some amazing restaurants, street foods, and little hidden gems everywhere. So in this video, we're gonna take you on a food tour where we'll try some of our favorites, like the delicious praline brioche. We'll have a cup of champagne in Victor Hugo's courtyard, and we'll get to eat what Colleen described as the best sandwich she ever had. Allez, on y va. So this thing is called praline, and it's a it's sweet bread with nuts and a lot of pieces of praline or sugar, and it comes from the region of Lyon. This is not a specialty of Paris. The best way to describe it, it's a brioche bread with all kinds of good stuff in it. You can grab one of those as you're sightseeing Le Marais or actually any boulangerie that will serve that and then just go and eat that on a park bench. Uh, we bought this in Rue de Rambuteau in a little store called Preyless, but they sell that. I've seen it all over the place because uh, a lot of people love this stuff. And since we couldn't eat it there, we actually walked down the Rue de Rambuteau, we went to the end and there is a little hidden park. This is a little hidden gem secret in Paris. Inside the Musée des Archives, where we are, and there are a few benches, there's not a lot of people. It's kind of like you're going all the way in the back and you find this little bench, but it's a great place to relax, enjoy whatever you bought on your food tour, and this is where we are. This is good. This is an amazing treat. And this bakery here is famous for making uh, naughty shaped bakeries. It's not part of our food tour, but it's a big stop uh, for a lot of people in Paris. So, but it's not on a food tour, so let's go. We're here at Carré Pandemie, which is a square of sliced bread. And this is a new one for us. We are checking it out for the first time, and I'm really glad that we did. It's all about sliced bread. So they have sandwiches, lots and lots of sandwiches. We got our bread with melted cheese on top and a salad on the side. But now that we're inside, I'm wishing that I knew about all the other little sandwiches because they make amazing sandwiches. They cut off the crispy crust and put it in a cup like breadsticks and serve it with french fries. So whether you want the salad or the fries, you got a great option. But this is an amazing little spot. And this is a Japanese French concept where they use a special kind of Japanese flour that makes it really smooth, really soft and just really delicious. And you can tell it's a great place because there's a line. The sign said it would be a 30 minute wait. I can imagine that it can be like really, really crazy. So now, let's go on to the next spot. This is Character du Couchon. It's not the cheapest place in town, but the quality is amazing. You are not paying for marketing here. And of course, today we got a selection of different kinds of saucisson already sliced, so you can eat it on the go, take it on a picnic, Take it back to your hotel or Airbnb, and oh my God, it's good. You can even get olives and wine, or you can just get a sandwich with the same stuff on it, but wow, you need to know about this. That's good stuff. And check this thing out, just another piece of beautiful art and architecture when you're walking through the streets all over Paris, but in the Marais, there's tons of them. We just left Thomas Artisan from Rogerie, and I was expecting to love it, but I was not expecting to find the raclette wrap sandwich. Oh my God. 
going The raclette wrap that they have is probably the best sandwich I ever had in my entire life. It comes with potato and uh, an aged ham and the special kind of raclette cheese that's typical for the winter. There is absolutely nothing like it that I have tried anywhere. That may be the best sandwich I ever ate in my life. Gimme, 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 gimme. Hey, oh. This is a definite stop if you're coming through the Marais and you want something amazing to eat. Oh, and the other thing they have is Aligo, the half mashed potatoes and half gooey cheese that is so amazing. And the special butters and like, they have so much stuff in there. You need to know this place. To where I belong, just this one thing keep bothering my mind. This bit stop is Bryce Cafe where you can have amazing crepes. And we tried crepes all over Paris, and some of them are okay. Most of the time, you know, it's, it's hard to mess up a crepe, but Bryce Cafe always does it right. So you can have savory crepes, you know, with ham and cheese and all kinds of good stuff. But today I tried the chocolate sauce with caramelized almonds and whipped cream on top of it, and it was absolutely delicious. The caramelized uh, almonds is something new that I haven't had on a crepe before, and it really adds to the taste. It's really good. This location in the Marais is particular because they have a store next door where you can buy pasta made with the flour that they use in the, uh, in the crepes. Uh, you can buy uh, cider, you can buy sardines, uh, you can buy some uh, fondant au chocolat, which are mm, amazing dessert. So you, if you don't want to stop and eat a crepe and you know, sit down and have a whole meal, you can go next door and they actually sell crepes that are uh, already made. So you can take them back to your Airbnb or your rental and then just you know, buy some chocolate and put it together yourself. But this is a great spot. I really enjoy that crepe. Now, on to the next place. Howdy. We are at Le Chambre aux Confitures, and this is a tiny little shop just around the corner from the Archives Museum, and this is definitely a place you want to know about. They sell high-end, top-quality, fresh jams and preserves and things that are made especially by hand, all organic except for the sugar uh, pieces, but it is delightful. They have stuff that's set to go on brunches, they have spreads and tapenades, they have things to go with meats and barbecue, it is beyond delicious. And if you try some of this stuff, oh my God, delicious. They have apricot with lavender. They have champagne and raspberry, passion fruit with mango. They have a strawberry with Brazil nuts that will just knock your socks off. And it's absolutely delightful. It's great if you wanna take it and eat it here. And an amazing thing to bring as a souvenir or a gift back home. It's, you need to know about it. That caramel is so smooth. There's no grit at all. It's buttery. It's the kind of caramel that's gonna stay with you, but it doesn't stick to your teeth. It's just really smooth. A trip to the Marais is not complete without checking out this area and it's understandable why it's so packed. This right here is the heart of the Jewish quarter. This has been the Jewish quarter for, you know, many, many, you know, hundreds of years, but this is a very particular flavor here. You have the kosher spots, you know, the bakeries and delis and butchers and things all around here, but it's, um, it's a part of town worth knowing about. They call this thing a tapioca because it's kind of like a crepe made with a tapioca flour. But this one, they have a vegetarian one. This one is chicken and it has corn and tomatoes and avocado and all kinds of stuff inside. And a sauce that is so delicious. Like 
the flavors are like an explosion. It, it's just so flavorful. The cilantro, I think, is that a jalapeno? Looks like a tiny piece of jalapeno, some red onions, like, oh my God, it's delicious. And coming from South Florida, the Brazilian population there, this, I was looking forward to this one. We, this is my first time eating here. It came highly recommended from our friends at Kuma that are just down the street. And I'm so glad that they said something because going to a Brazilian place in Paris just didn't sound right, but wow, is it good, delicious. You have appetizers, you have cheese sticks, cheese balls, and chicken tenders, which are the appetizers. And then you get these bowls. And the bowl, it's, yes, it's macaroni and cheese, and it's cheddar and macaroni, but you never had anything like this. It is like baked in the bowl. It's like crispy around the edges. I have a Japanese crusted chicken in my bowl with little chopped green onions, a caramelized sauce on top. I did caramelized onions and there's a sweet, savory, salty, sour. You can get it spicy. You can get it all kinds of ways. They have a Mexican bowl, a Parisian with mushrooms, all kinds of stuff. But like, oh my God, this is delicious. And this stop is in one of the best chocolate shop in Paris. It's Jacques Genin. I mean, there are some everywhere, but this one for us is special because we got to make chocolate and caramels with him uh, about a year ago now. So today I'm trying the Abra Caramella, which is this thing here, this chocolate bar, which is a mix of caramel, praline, and milk chocolate. Oh. oh, oh, this is delicious. It's caramel and crunchy and chocolate and gooey and, and crunchy and, and the, the, the caramel explodes. It's like, oh, this is good. See, inside you have a little bit of caramel. It's melting in my fingers right now. The only problem with this chocolate is if you buy only one, you have to share it. I have to share the other half with Colleen. <laughs> Abra Carmela because it's just magical. It is so... Stop here and get at least one and a few other things. So Jacques Genin is in the upper part of Le Marais, the north part of Le Marais, close to Republic. He has another store on the other side of, uh, of Paris, but if you're a Marais and you're looking for food, you have to make a pit stop right here in this store. This store does not look like a chocolate shop. It looks like a jewelry shop and the uh, the I guess the butler, the chocolate butler that's there, they're there with white gloves, you know, carrying these things. Uh, this chocolate is not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but oh my God, the taste is absolutely amazing. Now we're at Cafe Moulot, which is inside Victor Hugo's house, right at the Place de Vosges in the south part of the Marais. This is a particularly luxurious part of Le Marais with the gorgeous square. You have the Pavilion de la Reine. You have some of the finest restaurants and things right here. But this cafe and this courtyard in the middle of Victor Hugo's home. And of course, Victor Hugo is the one who wrote The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which actually kept the church from being torn down. So this is a pretty cool spot right here to be in the middle of literary history and drink champagne. Cheers. And this is a food tour, so you can come here and have a coffee and dessert. You can have little snacks and things, but we chose to have the champagne just to celebrate because, well, we've had a lot to eat so far today. It's a great spot to come and get a quiet little corner with a nice little nibble right here at the Place de Vosges. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I would suggest that you watch this video. Check out our Paris travel guide. There is a link in the description below where we list our favorite restaurants, bakeries, tours, and even some transportation options. And until next time, au revoir.